inspirational quote. Ooh, I have several of them. Start All right, go talking. ahead. Yeah. Love, love everyone. But just be kind. I think this is my favorite. Just well, be kind. Go ahead. Are you recording now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, just go be ahead. kind. Just be kind. That's just, all. If everybody was just kind, yeah, a, just a little bit kinder today than they were yesterday, uh huh, it would be so much better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. My sister is a saint. Okay. No, really, I'm not. Really, she is because, as you can see, I came here with a white cane and not all my gray matter intact, <laughs> and she takes. <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> care of me. She is an amazing woman. Her name is Kimberly Renee. Uh, Kimberly, and and uh, she, you know what? Uh, she has this hair salon and she even lets me come and work and I feel good about me. Uh, she just makes everybody feel good about themselves. Wow, yeah. So <laughs> if, you nice. have a, if you have someone close uh-huh. It's important to you. Let them know that. Yes. That's all I got to say. Here, wow. Kimberly. Okay. And we are from Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Which isn't really all that hot. Yeah. Can I have a... It's hot. Atlanta's very it's hot. It's very hot. Yeah. As far as inspirational co quotes, I'd have to say, uh -huh. treat everybody equally. Yes. And never judge a book by its cover until you, you know, as the Indians said, don't uh -huh. judge a man until you walk a mile in his shoes. Okay. Oh my God, I'm oh weak. Wow. Well, it's it's old quote, but it's a good quote. Yes. Yes, exactly. And I truly believe that because I have clients that, you know, have to save their pennies to come in and see me. Mm hmm. And I got clients that, you know, come in two or three times a week. Oh. Okay. And tip more than... Yeah. Yeah. But They'll tip more in a week uh -huh. than some people actually... Pay on their hair service. Have spent. Yes. Have spent. But then Money to spend. Said, it, it's, I treat everybody equally. Do. Yes. Yes. That's not Because it's not about the money. And, you know... Where do I want to go with that? It's about sisterly love. Yeah. Yes, I have sisterly love. That's right. But in the studio, it uh, you, you never know, you know, karma. Uh-huh. I think everybody crossed paths for a reason. Uh-huh. So, you know, respect and kindness to everybody. Yep. yep. Because it's not... What you know, it's who you know. Yeah. Because there's so many people that you that can help you or inspire you or uh -huh. encourage you, and uh -huh. it's like, and we like to do the same. It's not to our people, yeah. what? Because we have a lot of clients come in uh -huh. every day, and it all just comes down to the same thing. Just be kind. Just be yeah. kind. Be just kind. be kind. Think about it. Imagine that everybody be, uh, be kind to everybody, you know. Yeah, we live in a city where the traffic is horrific. Yeah, traffic's yeah, yeah. bad. <laughs> and, you know, there's always, just be kind, and, you know, it's just, with traffic. Kindness goes a long way, and I try to um, put that out there. Like if, it, like if I go to a quickie mart or something uh -huh. like that, you're... you're Checking out with somebody, uh -huh. you know, paying for your gas or your chewing gum or whatever, uh -huh. mm -hmm. just to try to interact with that person to put a smile on their face. I think it goes a long way because now today with everybody so closed up in their own world, in their mm -hmm. computerized world, I just think a lack of communication is going to break down the fabric of our society. I think it's really important that, you know people talk yes. because the computer is just a screen and uh -huh. text messages they don't have the emotion that you put into language yes. to communicate with somebody mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm, because I do a lot of talk to text, and it doesn't always convey. Right. Emo- <laughs> you know, the thing with the text, ah. it just doesn't convey emotion. Plus, you're blind. So well, when you screw up on your talk to text, people still kind of get it. Do they? I think so. I they can fill in the blanks. Yeah, because, you know, when you can't read what you're looking, what you're texting, uh-huh. the the better the app, the application that you use for that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. The other yeah. thing I'd like to say uh-huh. is never go to a table where you break bread and have a phone. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I see so many times when I go out. Uh-huh. You have couples or groups of people. They're all sitting at the table and they're all on their phone. Yeah. Again, which which breaks down communication, Mm -hmm. our socialization, our emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all conveyed in conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of kids today are socially I think that it's important that early in life that you start, if you have a young family, no phones. Ever at the the table. table. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, to breaking bread, I think, or sitting at the dinner table, I think it's kind of sacred, like sleeping. Yes. I, I always told my kids, sleeping is sacred, yeah. you know? And so you want to make your bed every day because it's the first thing you accomplish. Oh. And then no matter how bad your day is, You've at the end, oh. at least you can get into a freshly made bed. Yes. Yeah, I've seen a lot of you know, people uh, at the restaurant and they're using their phones. I know they do. Yeah. And I see it. Don't you see that? I mean, I see people on the phone. Oh, it's like just married insane. couples. Saying, yeah. Yeah. Or people that are like, you have a group of four on at the table. Yeah. And all four of them are on the phone. Yeah. Yes. No, I like, just think. What the hell are you doing I at would the dinner table? I would just get that. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Um, you know, if you are a physician on call or uh-huh. a. No, and it beeps or buzzes, get up and go. Yeah, excuse, excuse yourself. yourself. Excuse yourself. Yeah. But just be kind. And that's. That is being kind. That's being kind, yeah. You know, you're not yeah. basic. Be kind. Yeah. Basic common courtesy. Uh-huh. Basic manners. Uh-huh. It's just kind of lost, you know? Lost, yeah. A thank you or a Mr. or a Mrs. I mean, or just a, a thank you goes a long way and it can make somebody's day just to say thank you. Yes. Kind of like his, like, Thank you. Like, this is an amazingly cool, for all of you guys that aren't able to see and hear, but just can hear us, this is, look at, this is so yeah, this amazing. Is a, a wonderful, uh, yeah, this is a, you know, and this again, is when, it, it, and Thank again, you. with that, because it's a human look being, that. and he's driving us, look. and we're human beings, she right? did this. The energy in the car just automatically puts you in a happy mood. It does. Those little things go a long way. Yeah, so, I was at a wedding all weekend. Yeah. I was. I was the mother of the. It was very weekend. hard to get up, and I'm <laughs> not going to lie about my. Uh, she looks how good. I'm feeling. I feel like I've been to two weddings, but <laughs> you automatically get in this car as you're like trying to drag yourself out of bed. They get to the airport, which, you know, oh, that's just a laborious task after you've been partying all week, yeah. weekend, and <clears throat> you come into this car, and when you have socialization like this, it immediately changes everything. Yeah. You feel better, you feel happy. Look, you got good mojo. He does all kinds of It's karma. Whatever you put out there comes back to you. That, exactly. that I agree with you. Exactly. I'm a big one on karma. Yeah. And she wears very, very high stilettos. Yeah. And she will stab you in the thighs if you upset her. <laughs> what does this say? It says, please take one. But you don't need to take one because you're not living here. And I don't want to waste yeah. waste his business cards. Because yeah, they look nice. Yeah. It is lovely. Yeah. Which goes back to the point that you can change, turn somebody's attitude around just with a little bit of conversation uh-huh. and kindness or just a 
just a statement, just words. Human words, human touch, I think is really. Do you like America? I love the United States of America. You America do. is the best country on the planet. Absolutely. The best. You know, uh, there's no comparison. You can't compare to any other country. This is true. Yeah. I love America. I'm it's, proud to be American. Yeah. It's like a, the opportunity is endless. Yes. It's endless. You know. I like that word opportunity. Yeah. And that just came off your lips like so natural. Yeah. I have an opportunity. Yeah. And a lot of people think today that they um Nobody is. They're entitled. Yes. They don't look at opportunity. Yes. They look at what they're entitled, entitled to. Yep. Yeah. And there is no entitlement. You know what I mean? You I think there is a lot of entitlement. Too much entitlement. Sometimes. You know, you need to work hard, you know. Uh, exactly. And, uh, it's, it's just, it's just, everywhere you look at, you know, in America, there's opportunity. You know, it's just, it, 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 I don't understand that, uh, uh, some people, you know, that, uh, that, that there's nothing here. That, you know, in America, there's a, it's a the opportunity we have. You say you can't even imagine. You, know, you can have, you can uh, any idea in America. If you work hard, you can succeed. That I, for sure. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Yeah. But you gotta, ha- you gotta put hard work in. Yeah. Exactly. You've put hard work in. I tried. You've run several businesses. I have, but... And she's I also... I love my life. I mean, no, I don't, but I do. She's run several businesses, and she's also a caretaker. You know, she's take care, take, taking care of our sister, mm-hmm. her husband, friends who are ill or ailing or who have even died. Mm-hmm. And... Um, there's so many like um, senior living places and senior homes and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And you can always I have do to commend. Kind. I have to commend my sister for you know we like wow. to try to take care of our own yep. and not have other people take care of us. Yes, our family. Yeah. And I don't know uh, how is it in. Africa. It's the same, basically. Africa is uh, family-oriented, you know. You should take, you should take uh, each other, you know. In, Af- in uh, African countries, you know, they have uh, family-oriented, you know, help each other. Right. I yeah. think America is a beautiful place, but I think that we need to take care of our elderly and our young. Yes. Yes, we A do. little better than we do. Yes. A little bit, yeah. A little bit more. I agree. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I read once that you can always judge a country by the way they tend and care for their elderly. That's true. I have to agree with that. Thank you. I think that's a good thing. I do too. I I love the fact that you agree with me sometimes. Uh, Most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. But But I'm always right. I think, you know, I have a, a great respect for our elderly. And I have some elderly clients, you know, uh-huh. and uh, whether they're coming in on a walker or in a wheelchair, uh-huh. I try to find the human touch and the commonality of, okay, here's Miss Sweezy. Come I on in, Miss Lady baby. Grant. <laughs> Let's get you going. Let's shake it down. You're going to be gorgeous when you leave here, that uh-huh. kind of thing. Yes, yes. Be kind. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's <laughs> such a good philosophy. <laughs> you know, it will, like, answer anything. It's just it's be kind. Yeah. yeah, be kind is... Uh, kindness be kind is, is just... just oh, yeah. kindness. We don't have enough kindness. And it's just basic. No parent. Yeah. Think about this, you guys. Now, this is really, oddly enough, deep enough. Listen, if no parent... Uh-huh ever, ever, ever buries their child, uh-huh. if no parent ever mm-hmm. buried their child, mm-hmm. do you know what that would be like? It would solve world hunger, mm. world violence, yes. world wars. Yep. And if no parent ever had to think about that, Kim, 
-hmm. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you. It's very much. actually something to think about. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Have, a, have a wonderful uh, trip and. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.